Hi friends! In today's video I'm going to be discussing all of my brand new moto camping accessories for this year. As you can see I have a couple new items that I've never used in any of my videos before, so Huge shout out to Moto Camp Nerd for sponsoring this season's camping gear. All of these items, except for a select few, which I personally bought myself, were gifted to me from Moto Camp Nerd to personally test out, try out, review, and let you guys know whether or not I think they're a good investment. I'm not being paid to say any of this. They were gifted to me. And stay tuned to the end to find out how you can save big by shopping at motocampnerd.com. I so wish I would have known about them when I was first learning how to moto camp. Not only do I have new moto camping accessories, but I'm also very excited to announce that Lone Rider has sent me not one, but two of their moto camping tents. So in this video, I'm just gonna briefly tell you guys about which tent I would use for what purpose and why I would use it for that purpose. But stay tuned in a future video of me packing up all of this stuff based on which bike I would take camping with me and setting up those new tents. So if you've seen any of my previous camping videos, you'll notice that a lot of these things are things that I already had. I just kind of had the cheaper, knockoff version of them because I really just didn't know any better. Every single time I go camping, I learn something new, especially when I go camping on the motorcycle. After sitting down and chatting with Moto Camp Nerd, I found out that you can actually build your own custom moto camping kit over on their website. I'm gonna have links to everything down below in the description as well as their website. But anyway, as I was chatting with Moto Camp Nerd, they told me to go ahead and get on their website and build my custom camping kit. So basically everything that I felt I was lacking as a motorcycle camper. Sure enough, the first thing I wanted to change up was my sleeping arrangements. You know that I've used this sleeping pad before in my videos and as great as that air mattress was for as affordable as it was, it took up a lot of space and it kind of lost air in the middle of the night depending on the temperature fluctuations. So the first thing I wanted to get is a new air mattress. This mattress right here is the Sea to Summit Ether Light XT. This is actually the biggest air mattress I have ever seen. I think it comes to close to three inches in thickness and has a really good R value. So if you're sleeping in colder climates, this is gonna be an absolutely wonderful air mattress to sleep on. It comes with its own bag, so you can pump it up yourself. So no need for a pump with batteries. And the thing I like about the pump sack is you don't have to blow into the mattress, which gets all your, you know, your moisture, your condensation, and then that fluctuates the air mattress throughout the night. This thing's probably about a foot long and maybe six to eight inches in diameter. This is way smaller than my previous mattress that I was sleeping on. Of course, since I got a new air mattress, I had to get a new sleeping bag. This is not fully compressed. This actually compresses down way smaller than this, but this is the Big Agnes Diamond Park Zero degree sleeping bag. That's zero degree Fahrenheit. That's my number one tip to anyone who starts moto camping is they're like, what do I need to do? What do I need to know? You are going to get cold at night unless it's dead hot in the middle of sweaty summer. But every time I've been camping and it's not hundred degrees humid outside, I have gotten so cold that you just don't sleep. So I chose to go with this big bulky behemoth of a sleeping bag so that I know for sure I'm going to get quality sleep. This bag actually compresses pretty small for a zero degree sleeping bag, as well as it has different features, like it'll hold my pillow in for me and you can actually attach it to your sleeping pad so you don't roll off your sleeping pad overnight. Unfortunately, the Sea to Summit sleeping pad that I have is a wee bit too big for this specific sleeping bag, so uh, it doesn't necessarily fit, but that's okay. Obviously, if you saw my winter camping video here, you'll know that, uh, I did a couple double stuffed sleeping bag situations in that because I just didn't want to get cold. Still on the subject of sleeping, I have my little snug pack pillow. This is just a tiny little pillow that actually folds up inside of itself. And now you have a nice little pillow. Really excited about this. I, if there's one thing I don't take for granted with camping, it's comfortable sleep. And I will do everything in my power to make sure I sleep comfortably. Speaking of comfort, the next thing I have is my new Big Agnes chair. 
Now, I already had a camping chair, so I didn't necessarily need a new one, but my old camping chair was just a little bit small and it was kind of collecting some burn holes from my fire flames getting a little out of control. So I chose to go with this big Agnes camping chair. I can already tell you it is significantly lighter than my previous chair and it's also much bigger. I was actually very impressed with how big the chair felt. I mean, it, it, I was sitting up nice and high. So obviously we're gonna go camping soon and I'm gonna show you how I use all of these products. But for now, I'm just giving you the list of everything that I'm adding because it's new and I love new things. Next up, I have this little Sprite LED lantern. Um, I think it takes batteries. It might be rechargeable, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it takes batteries, but just the fact that it compacts down and it's soft, so it doesn't take up as much space as my little previous battery powered lantern. But I like these because they give off a soft glow. So I'm, you know I'm all about setting the mood at my campgrounds. <laughs> and as much as I love cooking over an open fire or using my little butane stove to make coffee or boil water, I actually, I told Moto Campner that I wanted this little stainless steel fire kit. Uh, I just think this is gonna be, you know, it's, there's nothing, there is literally nothing to this little metal fire pit. And I think it's just gonna be so beneficial to not have to rely on butane for fire. So I'm really excited to test this out. Even if I don't cook over it, it'll be nice to just like warm my hands by it and not have to have a big raging bonfire. I also got a couple little knickknacks. So Moto Camp Nerd, it's just, it's not just camping gear, like tents and sleeping bags and stuff like that. It's almost anything you can think of that you're gonna need when you actually go moto camping. You got things to clean yourself, things to clean your dishes, things to clean whatever you need to clean. I don't know, your bike probably. So I have a few miscellaneous items like that as well as a couple rock straps. You guys, rock straps have been a game changer in my camping experience, in my travel experience in general. I used my rock straps riding 2,000 miles round trip to Florida and back to Ohio, and I swear by these things. So that is my items that I received from Moto Camp Nerd. Just like, also, what an amazing business name. Come on, I love it. So the next couple items I actually bought myself or I was gifted from Mama Two Wheels for Christmas, and that is this little tiny baby hatchet. You guys, I thought this was gonna be much bigger when I ordered it. This is the tiniest little hatchet. But it, I mean, it's like a multi-tool. It was really cheap. I'm sure it's poorly made. It's a little hammer and I don't even care. I just, I think it's adorable and I'll bring it with me because why not? I also got me the Stanley Boil and Brew French Press. Um, my little French press was doing great as much as I love iced coffee. Sometimes it's really nice to have a hot coffee on a cold camping morning, but it just wasn't very big. I would have to make like six of those things. So I got myself the big Stanley French press. Last but not least of my new gear, first aid kit. Don't judge me, but I've actually never traveled with a first aid kit before. They've just always been too cumbersome, bulky, and never really had exactly the things that I wanted to carry with me. So this is my very first time. Jordan and I both got some of these. We'll probably keep them with us on our scrambler ventures. And you just never know. So. I got a couple first aid kits. These are in a nice little waterproof sleeve and they are chock full of just a, a ton of stuff. But yeah, first aid kit. Obviously I can't forget to talk about my brand new tents. <laughs> that like hurt my shoulders to do this. Huge shout out to Lone Rider for sending me two of their amazing motorcycle specific tents to start using this year for moto camping. They sent me this one. This is their moto tent. This is the tent that actually has like a garage. It has a garage with it. I can't wait to set this thing up. I wonder if the Dyna will fit. Oh, big girl. I think she'll fit. And look, she fits perfectly on my sissy bar. I mean, it's a little heavy, but we're big girls. We can handle it. And then of course we got the ADV tent back here. This tent's actually much more lightweight. It's still a decent size, but you know what? From the reviews that I've looked at online, these are absolutely top quality tents. So it really makes sense that these are kind of girthy and weigh a little more than you would think you want to buy for motorcycle camping. Obviously I'm gonna do a full review once I get these open and set up and really tell you if I think they're good quality or not. Cause once again, total transparency, Lone Rider is not paying me to say any of this. These tents were gifted and I couldn't be more excited. Seriously, I can't wait. 
So this one's much smaller. I'll probably be keeping this one with me on my little light scrambler girl over here and keep the big one over with Big Bertha Betty. Her name is actually Knox, but you know who she is. The thing I really like about both of these tents, they come in their own water protective housing with multiple straps, man. You can attach this to any bike you want to. And it has a caution symbol on the back in case you get stuff on the side of the road and you can set this up or you just, you know, put this on the back of your bike and it's actually a big red caution sign to anyone tailing you like, hey, you know, I should probably watch out for that motorcyclist in front of me. If only everyone thought that way. It's 35 degrees right now and you know what? I could definitely be sitting out by a campfire drinking some beer and just chilling. I just wanna get out, I wanna go somewhere. Well, congratulations for making it to the end of this video. I'm so excited to share that Moto Camp Nerd is not only sending me amazing products, but we are giving you 10% off everything you feel like shopping on motocampnerd.com. Go down and click on the link in the description and use code HER2WHEELS to save 10% off your entire order. I will say a lot of the items I have here are personally incredibly expensive. So I, I don't expect you to be spending $400 on a sleeping pad but they also have a beginner builder kit where you can customize and choose to build your own little moto camping kit based on your needs specifically. It is very, very cost friendly, cost effective and affordable. I mean, that's how we all learn. You start out buying some of the cheaper things. I have probably eight tents to my name, ranging from 25 bucks to 150 bucks and I've used every single one of them. So have fun shopping. Don't forget her two wheels. Use that code, save 10% off. Thank you, Moto Camp Nerd. Thank you, Lone Rider. And thank you guys for watching. Until the next one, you be good and I will see you later.